you may recognize our next guest as a familiar face because he's been here many times and he's here today to take a few everyday ingredients and turn them into a winner winner delicious chicken dinner. <laughs> Please welcome back to our home our friend Chef Govin Armstrong. Welcome back. Thank you. Happy New Year. You as well. We are very excited about this. This is no regular roasted chicken dinner. This has got mm. crispy skin. We have carrot top pesto. We have a delicious sauce that goes on top. And rice grits. Yes. That is wild. I've never even heard of rice grits. It's all going to come together so nicely. I'm excited to show you. Just because this is how I do it at home, how we do it at the restaurant. We normally buy whole chickens. I'll bone them out or have the butcher bone it out. We'll make a quick stock with that. Uh, we'll buy carrots at, you know, from our friends at the farmer's market, and then we'll use the tops as well to make that pesto. And it's so, we're not throwing anything away. Right. It's all, you know, it's just a beautiful dish. And it Love comes it. down to the crispiness of the chicken skin. How do That's we make right. that happen? Well, let me show you. First, we're gonna take our chicken, right? It's a half chicken. I'm gonna season it with a little bit of salt. Now, I noticed he's flattened out. Yes, it is. It's completely boned out. We left in the airline uh, bone there. That'll be one thing that's gonna stay there just for a little bit of flavor. And do you just we ask have... your butcher to do that? Exactly, okay. exactly. Uh, we have a little bit of rosemary, thyme, and oregano. And, and what was get... that, That was that spice? Yeah, that's a secret spice blend. Oh, oh yeah. you can't tell we, me. We, I can't, <laughs> but it is fantastic. There's a little bit of paprika, a little bit of cayenne pepper. Oh, it's got a little kick. Whoop. Just a tiny okay. bit. A <laughs> little bit of fennel seed, but it's really super delicious and aromatic. Okay. So we have a little bit of grapeseed oil. Right. We're gonna get that pan nice and hot. And, and it's important go to have the cast iron skillet. Yeah, it works the best for this application for sure. It's gonna hold that heat so you're, you're not gonna like poach your chicken. It's gonna saute and get a really nice caramelization on that skin. Okay, you so want me to help you go. over there? Oh, I think I can make it. Okay, chef. If I can say something. Oh my this God. is so Whatever good. is in that Thank rub you. is fantastic. Isn't that delicious? Oh, yeah. And again, that is super versatile as well. We use it uh, for chicken, I use it on pork for uh, rubs. Mm. It's really, really nice. So you put it skin side down. Yes. And I noticed it's important to make sure that. And make sure it's laying flat, and this is what really helps. Oh. We'll put another cast iron right on top of that. What a great idea. Yeah, so that's gonna be sure that the skin is always in contact oh. with the pan. Okay, so how long will we leave that guy there? It's going to go for about okay. 10 minutes. You okay. know, maybe a little longer, just till that skin is crisp, then we're gonna flip it over. We might do a little basting in between. We'll sort of see. All right. Every bird's different. So carrot while we pesto. have it over there, we're gonna make yes. our carrot top pesto, so and then we'll come back the and tops. check on the chicken. Yeah that have been washed and picked of the big large stem. What an interesting idea to do carrot top pesto as opposed to basil or a parsley. It's something different, you know. It really does add a great flavor profile. It's gonna tie in the carrots that we already have on the plate there. So we have a little bit of, these are toasted sunflower seeds. Parmesan? Parmesan, sesame seeds. Interesting. Here my chicken cooking a little. You see it sizzling, we yeah, gotta check on yeah. it. Always wanna check, and I know it's fine. But we'll have a peek there. It's coming Ooh, along quite it. nicely. Wow. You can see oh, yeah. that. It looks beautiful. This is Thank so that wonderful. Going. Thank you. Very yeah, that much. pesto oh. is to die for. It's great, right? Oh. And just super simple. I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon zest as well. Okay. Just a pinch. Olive We're oil. We're gonna and grind this a little bit first. first. Yep. Okay. There we go. Get you. That's fantastic. So then, then grapeseed we'll add... and olive. Yes, we'll add a little bit of that. Together, I like that you've you added it. both. It's a nice little blend. Oh, look at that. Then I'll have you scrape that down, and I'm gonna okay. add a little more of that. Oh, it smells so fresh. Mm -hmm. A little bit of salt. Okay, so Good, now, right? this, this I mean, basically comes together, and it looks like that that we have over there. Very, very quickly, I love this yeah. Pesto. So with this, we're gonna serve a little bit of oven roasted carrots. Really simple, just a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Uh, we do salt, pepper, and some mixed herbs, and then it goes right in the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how you like yours cooked. Well, eventually it'll come together and look yeah, like this, which just is like beautiful. That. Exactly. Now we're gonna make your sauce really in that easy. exact pan. Really easy, it's a one pan wonder here. I'm gonna put this there. And we have our herbs, we have all the flavor that's leached out of the um, chicken itself. I'm gonna okay. turn that up and add a little bit of lemon juice. All right, it's like a gravy almost. It is, yeah, you can call it gravy, why not? We have some chicken broth here, and if you have vegetable broth, it's really whatever you have on hand, but like I said, we normally buy the whole chicken and we'll make the stock one time with nice. that. Nice, with the bones. So a little bit of butter. Okay. I'm gonna swirl that in. And again, this is really fast, really easy. Yeah, no, no thickener. 
Did you won't need it. No, we're yeah. going to reduce it right down, and it goes right on the plate. Oh, nice. And then you, you'll you strain that, though, before you... If you, you want. Actually, yeah, that's optional. Yeah, I mean, optional. it's still spices. You know, it's we're eating nice. carrot tops here, you know what I mean? That's like, right. why, why strain a sauce? And that's what it, it looks like eventually. <laughs> yes, yes, but look at that. No. You shouldn't peek at it this many times. <laughs> you know, it's so it's, good, though. No. We appreciate really, you doing it. Well, thank <laughs> you. It's I do that for you guys, uh -huh. yes. That's now we can you. plate this up while that yes. still actually cooks in sure real time, which thing. I love. And we're doing this with rice grits. Now, I'm from the South. I yeah. know all about You're grits. You're very familiar. Wheat, savory grits. Yeah. I have never heard of rice grits. They're so delicious. It, it's really like a byproduct of when they mill the corn and when they uh, buff it or polish it. You know, the rice is going to break up, breaks, breaks down into little pieces. Okay. This is the byproduct of that, which is just as delicious as the rice itself, because hmm. it is 100% rice. And it's probably yeah. better for you. Um, I would think so. Yes. I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> <laughs> because just corn these because. days can sometimes be tricky. It sure can. Okay. How's that looking? It's looking good. It's all right. looking good. Let me pass you this beautiful chicken over there. You're the best. Thank you. It is. So. I mean, I don't have any other words. I keep saying it's the most amazing meal. It is so good. Everybody, please go to our website, hallmarkchannel.com, to find this recipe. You won't be sorry. And visit Govan at The Lobster here in Santa Monica. Mm -hmm. It is so good.